From technology that helped us conquer Everest to a cruise missile, the Science Museum Group has a collection of over 7 million items. Today, I'm going to discover how Star Wars helped a generation of children to undergo brain scanning in another story from the stores. So these are actually, can I touch the label? You're allowed to touch the label. This, these are actually labelled Jedi Helmet, yes. which is amazing. These aren't actual Star Wars props, I'm guessing. No, they're not. But they're actually named after the helmets worn by um, people in the Return of the Jedi film in 1983. So, as you can guess, they date from the um, early 1980s. What were they used for? So they're actually used for really early MRI imaging, um, specifically for children. So these came from Hammersmith Hospital, who donated them to us um, in the early 1990s. The early MRI, the problem was that with smaller children's brains, you couldn't get the image quality that you had from adults. So what they did was they essentially made a radio aerial. Wow, I thought that was going to be water going through that tubing or something. No, they're entirely copper um, and they would have been connected to a computer there. So the way that MRI works is that giant magnets change the spin of atoms in our bodies and then the signals get picked up and made into pictures. So these just helped enhance the images. So the machine that came with these as well was actually like really beige, looked really kind of almost prototypey itself. So you can imagine um, a child going in there. I, I, would the helmet make that better? Well, I think because they're called Jedi helmets, kids would go, oh, right, I can put this on and I can uh, be a Jedi. Um, the team actually experimented a lot on their own children, um, so they knew the technology was safe, um, but they needed to know this worked. And some of these are clearly kind of just rigged together, because that looks like a colander from a kitchen. It is there, and some of my favourite ones are actually the ones that say things like astronaut. What did these become? Were they, did they just become obsolete because technology got better, or is there still...? So these um, prototypes actually went on to become commercially available, but as machines got stronger and the magnets got more powerful, you didn't necessarily need something um, as bulky as this. So what's so special about these for you? Um, so when I first encountered them uh, many years ago now, I, when I heard the word Jedi helmet, I thought it was because Jedis could read minds rather than them being... Um, but it, it kind of is. It, it is in a way, and that's what I kind of love about these, is that they come with their own stories, but then we can bring our own stories to them as well.